Hi everyone, Dan Groninger here for GE Inspection Technologies with another in the video instructional series on the Mentor Platform Instruments. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, how to update software on a Mentor instrument. Uh, we'll walk through an example of doing it on a Mentor UT, but the process is pretty much identical on the Mentor EM as well. In this case, I have placed the the I've downloaded the update onto a USB memory stick and I'm going to load it from the memory stick. Um, it is possible if you have your mentor connected to uh, the internet with the Wi-Fi network uh, you can download releases of software for mentor directly from our GE Inspection Technologies file services. Um, both the EM and UT have the latest released versions as well as previously released versions uh, available on the services. All right. In either case, whether you're loading from the memory stick or from uh, the internet, you begin by clicking on the settings button in the lower left corner of the screen. From settings, you click the gear button and you choose the updates panel. In this case I'm going to put my memory stick into the USB port. I'm going to give it a second to find that and install the driver for it. I'm going to say check now. And it scans the USB drive and you see because I'm doing development work here um, I have several builds of software on my memory stick. I'm going to choose the latest. Uh, the software team just put out a test build today. So the most recent one is the last one down here. I'm going to click the install button. It'll give me the message that it's begun the installation process. And this process takes several minutes now. Once the process starts, don't touch the instrument, don't turn it off, allow the process to complete. Uh, it's always a good idea to have the instrument on its charger uh, when you start an update. Uh, the update will check to see how much, the update software will check to see how much um, power is in the battery uh, before it starts. It won't let you start an update with less than, I believe it's 15% of the battery charged uh, so that the instrument is confident that it has enough power to complete the update process. Again, this process takes several minutes, so there's uh, not really much point in us sitting here watching it. Uh, so that concludes the, the uh, instructional video on how to update the instrument. And normally what you would do is allow this to run to completion. The instrument will turn itself off and restart when it's complete. So thank you for joining me today, and I hope you found this informative.